and welcome to the start of a new weekly reading vlog. So it is Monday and I've just started work for the day. It's such a rainy Monday. It has literally been raining for about a week non-stop, which usually I'm very, very happy about. I love kind of like cozy rainy days, but when it's kind of just raining non-stop for a whole week, it can get a little bit much. Anyway, I wanted to kind of kick off with what I'll be reading this week. So I want to finish The Poppy War, this one here, by R.F. Quang. And I'm on page 219 of this book. It is fantasy. It is absolutely awesome. If you've not heard this book yet, do check it out because it is basically a kind of like Chinese inspired military school um kind of book and it is quite dark quite heavy but i'm really really enjoying it so far and yes i'm about halfway through and it is perfection like such perfection so i really want to finish this book this week and in my last reading vlog i talked a lot about how i was not really feeling like reading i was in a reading slump and basically that's kind of like followed through to this week a little bit I read quite a lot yesterday, which was Sunday, um, but apart from that, I've not really been doing much reading. So again, starting this reading vlog, hopefully it will help me to just really focus on my reading this week. It is going to be a busy week in terms of like work and stuff, but hopefully that will mean lots of reading time in the evenings, which I am very, very hyped about. So without further ado, it is time for me to get back to my desk and I'll check in with you guys later today where hopefully we'll be reading. Hi guys, it is Monday evening and in a very, very strange twist, I actually ended up going for a run. Basically, my thought is I'm kind of struggling to sleep at the minute. I basically like find it really hard to get to sleep and then I'm like waking up a lot in the night. So I figured if I try and exercise and stuff during the day, that might help me, you know, fall asleep better essentially. So I actually went for a run and you know what? wasn't that bad it kind of was like very get, it was kind of getting dark and it started to rain and it just felt very like autumnal and moody which i really enjoyed so i actually didn't manage to read any of the poppy war in my lunch break which i don't know why i keep saying that i'll read in lunch breaks because it's not happened yet so i am still on the page number that i told you about this morning which is chapter 10 219 but about the poppy war so far i am i think i said this this morning just absolutely loving it it's definitely like my type of fantasy novel um what is kind of surprising me and you know surprising me why i like it so much there isn't a romance plot there isn't a love interest and i'm finding that quite refreshing like usually i would read you know fantasy novels where there is kind of a romance thread throughout the book or there's like hints of a romance but i'm actually not minding that there isn't a romance in this book i don't know if there is one in the second book or the third book that will come out later this year but i don't mind it i'm kind of just supporting rin right now and seeing what she's going to do so I don't think this is a spoiler, but this book really is about shamanism. Um, and shamans are basically people who can connect with the gods and commune with the gods. And basically just like summon gods in a way. And that is one of the powers that our main character Rin has. So I've just reached a point where she has experienced this thing called the Pantheon for the first time. And she basically wants the power that that can give her basically because she wants to take part in the oncoming war which is brewing like i am feeling the third poppy war is about to arrive which is quite exciting so i will let you guys know if i do manage to read any more tonight so i just wanted to check in and say i went for a run it is the end of the work day i have washed my hair and i've taken my makeup off and i'm sitting on the couch ready to read The Poppy War. So it is all good over here. So I have just had dinner and before I start like chilling out and reading for the evening, it is currently eight o'clock and I really just wanted to start doing some Preptober work. So if you're unfamiliar with what Preptober is, it is basically um, prepping for NaNoWriMo, which is next month. NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month it's a month-long writing event where the goal is to hit 50,000 words of a novel or a project. So the month of October is often used to kind of prep for NaNo. 
um, and that is exactly what I wanted to do. So I have my laptop here and what I really want to do tonight is just for half an hour just kind of read through my novel what I've got already is a novel that I'm hoping to continue with for NaNoWriMo. So I've got about 24,000 words of this project and I want to basically finish it in NaNoWriMo. So ideally I want to hit around 80,000, 90,000. So I will have to write the full 50,000 words um, for NaNoWriMo to finish that. So what I wanted to do tonight, reread what I have so far of the novel. It's been a few months since I've read over it and, you know, properly like familiarize myself with the world. And then what I might do is, let me find my trusty writing notebook for this year's NaNoWriMo. So this is it, I got this from Paper Chase. And you will know if you have watched my, I think it will be my last video, one of my last videos, which is basically all about Preptober, all about NaNoWriMo 2020. And I basically say in that video how I'm going to prepare for NaNoWriMo. One of the ways I'm going to prepare is using this little kind of um, binder, I guess. Um, so basically it is sectioned into different tabs. On each of these tabs, I would really like to kind of write, like basically planning for different sections of my novel. So world building, um, you know, all the details about my world that I'm writing, all the character details, um, you know, kind of family trees, etc. Also key plot points. And then also a tab for like research and stuff like that because I am kind of basing it on Irish mythology. It's a very, very loose, you know, there's loose inspiration on Irish mythology in my novel. So I really wanna make sure that I am kind of on top of, you know, Irish mythology and I've done my research. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm probably only gonna have time to reread my novel and just start outlining a little bit, a little bit of research and we will see how far I get. So it's currently eight o'clock as I said, I'm going to put in my AirPods and just zone out and try and get into that flow state. If you're new to my channel as well, as in, you know, you've only started watching me in the past two years, um, I do every year a NaNoWriMo vlog series where each week of doing NaNoWriMo, I will vlog my writing progress that week. So that is exactly what I intend to do this year. And I'm just like really excited to do it. It's obviously a huge commitment um, and it will require me basically doing this and looking like this most days. Um, so I'm very, very excited for that though. And it's like the perfect cozy month on the lead up to Christmas as well. So anyway, I am blabbering on. It is time to do some Preptober work and I'll take you guys along with me. everyone it is what day is it tuesday morning and i've just started my lunch break and i'm about to go on a walk this is something i try and do every day but sometimes it just doesn't work that way but anyway yes going to try and go on a walk um yesterday wasn't the best reading day for me i literally read like a page like two pages maybe but i am really really loving the poppy war and i really want to try and focus on reading today that's going to be one of my main priorities obviously yesterday i did want to try and get some nano prep work done and luckily i managed to read maybe like two or three chapters of my novel and project that i'm doing this year for nanowrimo and i made a start on kind of like identifying what i need to prep for and kind of starting that a little bit but hopefully this weekend i can just like really kind of start prepping and start getting the groundwork done for NaNoWriMo. I've managed to turn it around a little bit. I feel a bit more positive. I put on some makeup because I woke up this morning and just didn't want to put any makeup on. But then this has actually motivated me a little bit. Um, so as I said, we're gonna get out, we're gonna get some fresh air. I'll bring you guys along with me. I can get some clips of my local park, which is the most beautiful park it's right next to the river. and. I'm hoping that some of the leaves will be turning brown and you know all autumnal it's definitely heading that way and when I was there yesterday it looked so autumnal so I'm gonna bring you guys along 
and then I'll just be eating lunch and reading some more of the Poppy War. So that is today's plan, Tuesday lunchtime plan. everyone just finished work for the day um what a day i am absolutely exhausted um i did manage to read a little bit of the poppy war at lunchtime though so i'm now on page 229 so i managed to read a whopping 10 pages at lunch which you know what i'm not too bothered about 10 pages is still 10 pages so tonight my only plans are to just chill out and just enjoy my weeknight evening basically so i really want to read some more of the poppy war as i said it'd be nice to read like 50 pages tonight if i can um the war plot is really starting to kind of pick up and get a little bit more intense so i'm hoping that's going to be quite fast paced and will kind of make me turn those pages but equally this book is so well written that i am happily just reading along at my own pace so yeah that's the plan i've not had any food yet um i feel like i need to eat something i feel like i was focusing so hard this afternoon that i've kind of burnt myself out and now i'm literally like what is what where am i like what is happening what day of the week is it i also really should start editing my video for tomorrow night today because um it is my nanorimo prep video basically saying i'm doing nanorimo and here are the things you need to know um which i'm really excited for that to go live so i'll link that in the description so you can watch that yourselves but i need to edit that video tonight so that will take a big chunk of my evening and whatever's left of the evening will be purely poppy war so i'm very very excited hi everyone it is currently wednesday evening and i think i don't think i've actually checked in today so wanted to say hello um so i'm up to page 239 of the poppy war it is quite slow going in that I'm trying to absorb everything I'm reading so I don't know I find with some like fantasy books that I've read like especially YA fantasy I zip through them really really quickly but with this one because A they're literally on the brink of war um, and especially like the shamanism stuff there is quite a lot of detail that I don't want to miss so I find that sometimes I'm having to reread passages a few times just to really get the information sunk in so yeah the nation is literally on the brink of war which is a little bit crazy but this i feel will be the kind of big culmination of where the plot is going to go now and we will discover if rin will actually commune with the phoenix i think it's called like the god um and yeah i'm really really excited to see what she does because she has basically she basically is hungry for power and that's quite evident so it'll be interesting to see what happens next anyway wanted to update you i have my big kind of goblet of wine which i'm very very excited about yes it's only wednesday but we're halfway through the week it is very justified and um, we're about to watch don't tell the bride which has quickly become my new obsession it's just such a quick quick and easy read read no quick and easy watch um so hopefully after that i will be reading and i'm looking forward to hopefully getting into some of the battle scenes in this book which i'll keep you guys updated on what i think but stay tuned
Okay, so I'm currently on chapter 12 of The Poppy War and let me just tell you, the scene I have just read, um, basically the war came. Um, yeah, quite an epic battle scene where the Federation basically invaded Steingard, which is the capital city. And we're in, um, yeah, I have a lot of feels. Basically, I really like Jiang's character and he kind of did something which if you've read the poppy war you will hopefully know what bit i'm talking about but um i just yeah i don't know what's gonna happen like several people have died and i did not expect that to happen 250 pages into a 500 page book i thought you know this would probably be a scene that we'd see at the end of a book not midway through the first book in the series um and yeah interesting i really really loved it it was really badass but now i'm kind of like what happens now like where do we go from here so um i'm just a bit baffled by what i've just read it was really epic really really epic and i love rin she's fantastic and i also was really excited by her and neza neza i don't know um kind of becoming little pals in that battle scene is he dead i think he might be dead Anyway, guys, I'm on chapter 12. Who knows what's happening? I'm going to keep reading until it's time for dinner and just consider my mind blown. So hi, everyone. It is Thursday. I'm currently on my lunch break, about to go for a walk, hence why I am wrapped up. I don't even know how cold it is outside. I might be, like, vastly over thinking how cold it is. But anyway, I have my Illumicrate, which has just arrived in the post, and when I get back from my walk, I will do a proper unboxing for you. I'm really, really excited about this box. It's called Sinister Surroundings, I think. Either way, I will let you guys know what is in it in a second, and I'm just really looking forward to it. The last two Illumicrate boxes I've got were amazing and thank you to Illumicrate for choosing me to be a rep and for gifting me this box. I do have a code which is bookbell5 and that will give you 5% off three and six month subscriptions to Illumicrate. So I will leave that code down in the description bar just so you have it and when I come back I will do a proper unboxing. Okay so hi everyone, welcome to my floor. I'm going to be unboxing um, the September Illumicrate, which I'm really, really excited about. As I said, I'm back from my walk now, have had my lunch, so I thought I would open this and see what goodies are inside. So, let's have a look. So, as usual, here is the kind of leaflet that explains what is in the box. So this is the Sinister Surroundings box, which sounds very, very intriguing. Um, do I look inside first? No, I'm going to open the box and just kind of like see what's inside and then I will kind of go through the leaflet and kind of explain what is what. Okay, so first off we have, oh my god, I'm really, really excited about this. First off we have an exclusive mug. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so undoing the mug. I'm so excited. I am a big mug fan, like I collect mugs, so this is really exciting for me. Oh my god, what is this gorgeous design? Let me show you guys. So this is the design on the mug. And the leaflet says it is inspired by Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I have never read Uprooted, which I know is like a crime, like everybody loves that series. Um, I've not read any Naomi Novik. I think, I thought Uprooted was on my bookshelves up there, but it's not. So maybe I should order it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, is it worth a read? Okay, so next we have this what is this oh my god there's like so many things i'm freaking out okay oh my god we have this which looks like a cushion cover let me see what it says it's only a game cushion cover artwork by sally fam all our favorite players from the dangerous world of world of caraval shown together on this gorgeous cushion cover i have never read caraval so i'm not sure who these people are but this cushion is really cute it also feels like super soft which i'm down for okay and then we have this i think it's like a makeup bag maybe it says death conquers all and then leaf house left house on the back let me have a look what series it's inspired by ah so this is inspired by ninth house by lee bardugo artwork by forensics and flowers so ninth house another book i haven't read 
This is embarrassing now. However, it is on my TBR this month, so I'm hoping to get to it after I read The Poppy War. I think it'll be like the perfect Halloween-y book. But anyway, I really like this little pouch. It's really cute. I will either use this as a makeup bag, like for when I'm going away, not that I ever go away, or just a pencil little pouch. I think this is really cute. So next up we have this very, very suspicious thing. What is this? It looks like a mug or a cup, if I can open it. So this is a little drinks cup and it says Rampion. I'm not really sure what that is related to. It says Captain is King. Oh, I actually think this is the drinks cup that was supposed to be in the last box or the box before. I can't remember what fandom this is relating to, but I'll let you guys know. Okay, next up we have a gorgeous little, I think this is a bookmark. Look how cute this is. I think this is adorable. It is a Kingdom of Souls woodmark featuring one of our favourite survivors, Ara. This woodmark is inspired by Kingdom of Souls. I haven't read Kingdom of Souls either, but from the looks of this woodmark, I adore it. I also think this is just a nice little alternative to like a paper bookmark. So I'm looking forward to using this. Okay, then we have like two remaining things inside the box before we get to the book. And we have the absolutely stunning monthly pin, which is designed by Stacey McAvoy Cornt. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Um, so this actually spoils what the book of the month is, so I'm not going to show you guys yet, but it is this gorgeous pin. Let me show you. Look at that. Like the detail is stunning. So I'm excited to add this to my pin collection. We also have a little necklace. I think this is from the world of like Pierce Brown. It says the Howlers necklace. Show off your allegiance to the Howlers with this iconic necklace. So another fandom I'm not part of because I haven't read it. And we're down to the book of the month, which comes in this lovely little book pouch. I am obsessed with how Illumicrate do these little pouches. They're really, really sweet. And the book of the month is, drum roll. Oh my God, A Deadly Education, lesson one of the Sholomance, Naomi Novik. First off, look at this edition because I am dying. This is a special edition. It has spread edges. Oh my god, guys, like, can we just appreciate this? It is so stunning. Oh my god, and Naomi Novik's like written an actual like letter in the book. I think that's so special. Um, that is just stunning. Oh my god. Look at this, guys. I'm so excited to read this book. I'm buzzing. What a box. What a box. My mind is blown. So thank you to Illumicrate for kindly gifting me this box. So that was my very, very exciting unboxing. That is the most exciting thing to happen to me all week, to be perfectly honest. Um, and it's time to go back to work. Hi everyone, happy Friday. I can't believe we're already at Friday. I'm very, very relieved, let's just say that. It's been a long old week. However, it is currently Friday lunchtime, or I'm just about to restart work after my lunch. I wanted to update you on my reading progress. Yesterday was quite productive. I don't think I vlogged like that much, but I did really feel like I was in the reading zone and I read predominantly after work for about an hour or so. So I'm now on page 290 of The Poppy War and I feel like I've barely read more than 100 pages this week. So kind of looking at my progress, I'm actually quite annoyed at myself and disheartened because I feel like I'm not getting through this book as quickly as I want to. And you know, I kind of had a similar situation in my last reading vlog and I spoke at length about red, white and royal blue and how the book was quite slow and I just kind of felt like it was giving me, you know, it wasn't helping my reading like speed up. With this, I feel like I've got the opposite issue. Like I am loving what I'm reading so much and I all I want to do is just really 
just focusing on this and just read it for hours on end. But this isn't a quick moving book in the sense that there is so much going on and yes it is fast paced in terms of the action, like there is so much action, so much going on, but there's also so much depth and so many layers to this that I don't want to rush through it because I feel like if I'm rushing through it I am going to miss something really important. There is a whole kind of like, I don't know, ideology in this book, like you know, the kind of depth in terms of like the gods and shamans and magic system, everything is so detailed that I almost feel like I can't just like fly through this. Like I'm having trouble binge reading it. So I will be ending this reading vlog tonight um, by not finishing a book this week. And that is quite disappointing. And I hope you guys, I don't know, I kind of feel like a bit of a fraud if I haven't finished a book in a reading vlog. I hope you guys don't think that i don't know it's it's a kind of tricky thing being on booktube and doing like reading vlogs when you haven't finished a book but i have been reading so i don't know guys but i just wanted to check in and say you know it's not likely that i'll be finishing this book off before this reading vlog ends and i'm quite sorry about that and i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog all the same okay i have finished work for the day and decided to just get hella dressed up because why not we are going out for dinner tonight but i don't even think the place is fancy or anything it's just like a dim sum place but i just wanted to get dressed up i like haven't gotten this dressed up in so so long curled my hair put lipstick on for the first time in so long and wearing a dress which i really like this anyway to check in because this is of course a reading vlog not a get ready with me um I have not read any more pages today. I think I will be predominantly reading this this evening when I get back from the restaurant and also this weekend because as I said in my clip before, I have half the book to finish. So yeah, definitely a job for this evening and this weekend. So with that, I'm going to leave this reading vlog and end it on a very kind of dressed up note, which is a stark contrast from the makeup free sitting in my dressing gown looks I've been serving all week. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Even though I haven't finished a book and I haven't read a lot, I hope this is somewhat realistic because in a busy working week, I am not going to be able to read a 500 page fantasy novel. And props to you guys who can do that, who just literally are on it with the reading. It takes me a while to kind of like relax to the point where I want to read. I don't know if you guys feel the same but thank you again so much for watching this video if you did enjoy this video please do hit the subscribe button for more weekly reading vlogs i hope you're all doing very very well and i'll see you in my next video guys bye